Alright, hello guys, this is my second forecast for Winter Storm Harper. We're going to get right into this. I wanted to announce that I have new radar products here. As you can see, we're looking at current radar. This is your direct weather radar, and this isn't future cast. This is actually right now. You can see that there's heavy snow in those darker blue bands in there. Uh, that's set up over South Dakota, in through southern Minnesota, northern Iowa, and heading towards Wisconsin, and even the Chicago area is going to feel those sooner or later. Uh, areas like Minneapolis are starting to feel the effects of this snow as well. Uh, lighter snow abroad for much of the areas like Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa, Illinois, and South Dakota, and that's going to start accumulating very quickly. Now, we're going to take a look at our future cast of radar as well right here. Uh, we're looking at our future cast radar according to the NAM model, and you can see the snow starts to get really heavy for areas like Chicago, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, and then that's when we get our real east coast, northeast blizzard here as it moves into Pennsylvania, some of those dark, dark, dark blues up through New York, Massachusetts, northern Connecticut, Vermont, Ma uh, Ma or, uh, New Hampshire, Maine, areas like that. You're getting very heavy snow in those darker blues. The lighter blues is kind of uh, lighter. And your medium shades are more of a more medium snow, but that those darker blues are certainly very very heavy snow. Uh, Chicago is going to feel that. Indianapolis is going to feel that. Cleveland, Pittsburgh, Manchester, Albany, uh, Boston. At some points, you're all going to be feeling this very very heavy snow. Now I wanted to zoom in here for New England for the future cast real quick, just so you can get a closer look at some of the areas that are going to get heavily heavily affected by this one. Uh, and you can see very heavy snow in those dark blues, very, very heavy snow. Portland, Maine, Boston, Syracuse, you're all going to be feeling that very, very heavy snow. Uh, Albany especially looks to be right in the bullseye. Uh, Green Mountains, White Mountains as well, you're going to get very heavy accumulations. Now, here's my updated snowfall forecast. I had to update this because things have changed quite a bit. Uh, and I'm going to uh, walk you through what has actually changed because it does look quite similar. Now, areas in northern Missouri, uh, areas in Iowa, areas in southern Minnesota, southern Wisconsin, northern Illinois, I've upped you to the 6 to 10 amounts. It looks like there's some heavier bands in there than once expected. Uh, so we've upped that to 6 to 10 inches, likely closer to 6 inches, but nevertheless over 6 inches. So you're in that 6 to 10. And then things have trended a little bit further north and a little bit heavier here in New England, a lot more of that 20 inch plus there for upstate New York uh, through Vermont into the White Mountains as well. Still in Maine, but we're keeping it a little bit further off the coast this time around as things look to get a little bit icy there for the coast of Maine even. Uh, but, but besides that, not a lot has changed. Very, very heavy snow, 20 to 30 inches in all those pink areas. Purple, you're looking at 15 to 20. Dark, dark blue, 10 to 15 inches. Medium blue, 6 to 10. Uh, lightest blue, three to six and your white section is under one inch to three inches anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this this updated forecast for winter storm harper stay safe uh make sure to subscribe for the latest updates on this one as i want everybody to be able to keep up with the latest information also follow my twitter at prime patriots i'll be making updates there as well and send in videos please i want to uh, make a video on for on videos for this storm of snow falling snow accumulations even if it's just pictures you can send i'd greatly appreciate that tweet them at me again at prime patriots and and I'll make sure to, um, to feature those in some sort of video here in the future. Anyway, guys, stay safe. Have a great weekend.